Cheers ring out in mission control as European spacecraft Rosetta signals from 500 million miles away that it's awake after its two and a half year hibernation. The reason for the deep sleep? Just like humans, the spacecraft needed to recharge its batteries. But now we get, got it back. Now it's up to us to drive it to the comet. For nearly 10 years, Rosetta has been chasing a comet through space, hoping to one day land on its surface for scientific research and capturing some incredible images along the way, like this one of the surface of Mars and this showing the moon rising over the Pacific Ocean. Scientists beamed a wake-up call to Rosetta early Monday, then waited and waited for word that their intergalactic Rip Van Winkle was again up and running. Finally, a tweet from space, simply, hello world. I think it's been the longest hour of my life. The stage is now set for what promises to be a historic space flight event. This is just the beginning. You know, without today, without the wake up, we wouldn't have a mission at all. Rosetta will now scout the comet for the perfect place to land before sending a probe to touch down on the comet's surface in November. The probe, a type of portable laboratory, will map, drill, and analyze samples as it travels with the comet on a trip around the sun, beaming its results back to Earth. We know that that's going to be a great adventure ride for everybody and return some fantastic science about the origins of our own solar system and potentially the origins of life on this planet.